I'm here in the bushes. <laughs> it's very hot. And I'm climbing the hills. Well, it's not so much of a hill, but I'm climbing. I'm walking. And I'm a little bit. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you all doing today? On this video, I will be taking you along with me to the parish of St. Mary. Have you ever been to St. Mary? Raise your hand in the comment section. <laughs> so, my dad is actually from St. Mary, if you didn't know. So, back in the days growing up, I used to visit my family members back there. But it's been a while that I've been to that parish, apart from a couple months ago when I was passing through to go to Portland it was last year right last year so last year I went there I passed through but today I'll be going inside the parish so stay tuned and I hope you will enjoy this video so here we are now leaving out of St. James entering into the parish of Trelawney here we have Father Bull on the left hand side. That's a great restaurant. If you haven't tried the food there, I recommend it. It's great. And uh, yeah, so we're on our way. Welcome to Trelawney. <laughs> so we are now in St. Anne. We just passed the Richmond Estate. purchasing anything in St. Anne I would definitely recommend this area here and I think we're about to pass that pudding spot I really want to stop but I can't stop right now maybe when we're coming back <laughs> I always love to have their pudding they have a white variety but of course I love their sweet potato pudding <laughs> so we're in prairie now Prairie St. Anne. This area here is so busy. It has developed quite a bit. So, I hope you're enjoying the journey so far and continue to stay tuned. <laughs> fearful of falling or accidents or you know but otherwise I, I had a great time it was good I would go back I need to go back because that is just too long <laughs> since I've been there but it's a lovely spot a very pop 
popular tourist attraction here in Notre So I definitely recommend that spot for you. And there are lots of other attractions here in Notre or St. Anne. And the beach is right across the road. It's clear, it's very clear today. I wonder if I could go take a dip. <laughs> Not today. I have I have to get to save Mary, you know. I really hope to do another island tour. We have a beautiful island here and it's it's just sad that us Jamaicans don't get to enjoy it as much as we should or we could, you know. So it is my hope to one day. Well it won't take a day couple days maybe a whole week to really travel the entire island or most of the island because it's pretty big right <laughs> and just taking all this beauty all these attractions the beach the food you know that's my hope so I'll definitely take you along with me I know you will enjoy that right <laughs> I know you will especially for my Jamaicans living overseas. I know you haven't seen some places in a long time. So I promise you I will do that for you. I'm not sure when. I am hoping to find some time so I can do that for you. Wow, will you look at that mountain view? Oh my, it's so beautiful. All this greenery. <laughs> Look at that mansion up there. Wow, that looks like a castle, kind of <laughs> Here we're now passing the Ian Fleming International Airport. That's in St. Mary. So welcome to St. Mary. <laughs> we have arrived. We have arrived toward, well not toward destiny, closer than we have ever been. <laughs> this is such a lovely scenery, isn't it? All this greenery again is just, it just warms my heart. <laughs> yeah, I love bush sometimes. <laughs> I just love to see the greenery. okay guys so thank you for staying tuned to this video i'm here in the bushes <laughs> it's very hot and i'm climbing the hills well it's not so much of a hill but i'm climbing i'm walking and i'm a little bit tired now but I'm here looking at this beautiful land. Possibly will be turned into a development in St. Mary. So just scouting out the area to see the possibilities. So I'm going to be showing you a piece of it. It's beautiful. Very easy terrain to build on, I would say. It's not very rocky or hilly. So let me turn the camera around so that you can see. Here I am all prepared. <laughs> and as I was saying, it's not very rocky. I think this is clay. So of course you have one or two rocks, but that's important. They said a wise man built his house upon a rock. So you can't have no rocks at all. But I would say this is relatively 
a very easy terrain to build on. So you have coconut trees and all of these lovely stuff. Isn't this lovely? A nice development would be nice here, eh? Really nice. So this is the main reason I came to St. Mary, guys, and I'm happy I did. Such an adventure here in the bushes trying to discover <laughs> the possibilities. So hopefully I'll get to do some road activities after leaving here. And I have to go and stop and say hello to some of my folks. So continue to watch and enjoy. So we're getting jelly chops from Cousin Delroy. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, juice in the man. Nice. Thank you. So I got jelly. <laughs> Guys, this is so refreshing. Mm -hmm. And country life. Nothing like country life. Mm. So refreshing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't get some. <laughs> So guys, we are back from St. Mary after a long day and we are now at the fishing village in Ocheria, so I think that's the name of it. We're gonna go get some seafood which I love so much. <laughs> We're just waiting to get a park now. So yes, it's the fishing village, Ocherius fishing village, and it has quite a few restaurants. Hmm, I wonder which one I should try today. It has to be something very fishy. <laughs> Lobster Dave. I've, I've always been thinking about that one, but not sure about that one today. So let's see. With all these seafood options, <laughs> I don't know which one to choose. Any recommendations? Well, I'm sure it's gonna be too late. <laughs> Where's this one? Oh, reggae kitchen. Okay. No, I don't. I don't see any fish. Oh, I see a little bit of fish. Okay. I'm wondering if Lobster Dave only does lobster, I guess, <laughs> yeah. Uh, would you look at this amazing view, so beautiful, I always like coming to this spot, it's really tranquil, so beautiful and the food is great. You should definitely try out the Ocherius fishing village when you're in Ocherius, so beautiful. We decided to try out Reggae Kitchen and the soup was so amazing. It was rich and just so flavorful. And of course, I wanted fish. There's a little clip of my fish that I got, but unfortunately, it wasn't too good at all. The curry goat was good. That wasn't bad. But the fish, I had to order something else, which was oxtail guys oxtail like oxtail is great and everything but i really wanted some seafood but i had the oxtail and it was okay it was just okay so anyways the ambiance and the music the environment was lovely and at the end there i was telling you all about the experience but the music in the background was way too high i was saying my tummy is full so don't mind my tummy too much. 
<laughs> right so i was telling you all about my experience over by reggae kitchen uh, but like i said the food overall it was okay and i was a little disappointed that i didn't get the fish that i really wanted i've been waiting all day for a nice seafood <laughs> but uh thank you so much for joining guys this concludes this video this little vlog well a long vlog thank you for staying tuned to the end of it and continue to watch my videos and stay tuned subscribe if you haven't subscribed and those who have subscribed thank you so much for always watching and staying tuned all right see you again soon and remember to comment